So. So. Yeah, that was a bit of a big happening. You know what? That was a mad weekend, boys, wasn't it? There's been a lot of, like, you know... I'm just... I'm, you know what? Like, you know, I don't know if I want to even talk about it because, like, you know, there's been so much about it and I kind of want to... I'm sure you're, like, dead in the water to hear what... But, but what, did, but what it, like, did we think about it, though? <laughs> well, it doesn't, like, matter what you're... See the amount of partakes I've seen from your parts? I know. It's actually, you know what, it's actually embarrassing. It's not often that I'm like... I know. Ah, can you guys please stop talking? This is not good. Like, I think the fact that it, re- that it resolved went to violence isn't surprising, and I don't no. think anybody should have been surprised about it. I was, I was surprised that it was on Trump, because I thought the first would have been... Biden. Yeah, I kind of. I, I thought it was going to be the opposite way, but I, but I do think they're going to be fucking stupid if they don't ramp up security at Biden's next rally. Yeah, I do. I just think it's you know it's going to be a point where it's going to be an eye for an eye. Yeah, they've opened. And the, the that's what I'm worried about. They have opened the floodgates. They have. They've really opened the floodgates on this. So. But us being Europeers, <laughs> um, you know, me and James were talking like it's fucking ridiculous. Like that, you know, the man's in the seventies and he's got shot. It's ridiculous that anybody's thinking like that but you can't help but wonder what the parallel universe would be like oh the like the uproar if something if it did happen this is one of the few times in my life where i i wish i could see what happens the if he, opposite what, what side happens if, what happens if his head literally exploded 4k live TV. fox news what happens what? a month can i see what happened a month down the road yeah in i like the uproar like the the civil war that will ensue. <laughs> yeah. I like I me and James were talking about it being like I won't. You know what? I I wouldn't want it to happen because I don't think anybody deserves that, uh, especially no. on live television, this family and all's watching. Yeah. Even by I wouldn't wish that on anybody. No, I don't want that. Um but it would have been interesting to see. It would have been it would have been nice. Especially with us sitting back and being like, What the Whoa. fuck? <laughs> um, you know. And again, like, you know, like, there's so many conspiracies and stuff where But like, honestly, you know, I, the photo ops, man. The f- oh the, the photos, photos were insane. Jesus Christ. I I, I, ha- I cannot believe just how good. Blair White on Twitter being like, This man took a bullet for his country. <laughs> if you think I'm voting anybody else, you're wrong. <laughs> Oh, right. well, anyway, anyway, look, I don't want to get too much into it, um, because but I'm like, sure you guys are sick of it, yeah. but we've got some high-quality cringe. Is this from the dawn? No, no, the dawn's gone, gone, gone. So oh, it, oh, I fucking is, yeah. Yeah, that got deleted in, like, 2016 or something like that. That was a bit deleted during the gun-up. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so go for this one. This one's a good one. Fuck! This feels so eerily like Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Here the attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed. <laughs> But I assure you, my resolve has never been stronger. I honestly hope Trump isn't going to become someone like Emperor Trump. <laughs> no, but this is literally just like Star Wars, guys. You literally guys don't, just like Star Wars. It's just, like like Star it's just War- read the plot. No, but it's... Uh, no, you don't... It's kind of sad just how much Americans, even boomers do this, where they base their entire worldview over... But what 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 would have happened in Star Wars? Like no, I know. This, but, no, but I am no, but is this like the boomer equivalent of but I the the cringe millennial equivalent of like instead of no, I'm literally Ryan Gosling, no, I'm literally Mark Hamill, <laughs> no, I no, I am Luke I, Sky, um, Luke no, Skywalker. I no, you guys would get it, I am Chewbacca though, <laughs> like <laughs> do your Chewbacca voice, you're good at it. <laughs> That's a lot better than mine. Now we got one other one, one other one that I saw, and I, this this was perfect. <clears throat> That's Will surviving gunfire be Donald Trump's next appeal to black voters? <laughs> Did you not see the all the edits that were going about? Yeah. But 50 Cent put out on Twitter, it's like, Donald Trump got shot and I'm trending. <laughs> because yeah. they were using his song in yeah. like edits of like him walking down. No, but 50 Cent used, like, you know, you know that album cover, like, Get Rich, Die Trend, or whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, he did that on like a concert, so he did like a oh, did weekend, I? like, you know, the, same, oh, did I? the next day. I can't um, remember but exactly. After, no, but after the attempt, um, people were like making loads of edits of Trump with, mm. I can't remember what song it was, of 50, but they were using his like song on Trump like walking in a hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah, And like yeah. all the lights. <laughs> also, I've been loving the Trump WWE. And it's, yes. they've, they've been they've been topped here, so they have. <laughs> um, look, I don't want to keep you guys too much. But I really do want a consensus of what do you guys think happened. Do you think it was a lone gunman? Do you think do you think there was something going on with the Secret Service? Do you think that what is your view? I I, I feel like I can't really talk about it too much. Maybe we might we might look into it on Gumwood. I don't know. I don't sure, give a 
fuck am I talking about it on YouTube? Yeah, it's just... I don't give a fuck. Fuck YouTube, man. I don't care anymore. I don't yeah. give a fuck if it's say, oh, you can't talk about this. Yeah. I don't care. Everybody else is fucking talking about it. I suppose that's true. So right? I don't care. I yeah. honestly couldn't give a shit about YouTube. Yeah, I've kind of given up a lot of hope when it I comes just to feel like they're constantly pushing us down and they're constantly not letting you talk about shit. But fuck them, just talk yeah. about it. What I love the most is that we're starting to see, like, you know, the whole thing with like Jack Black, for instance. Mm-hmm. See if see if someone else had said something like that against Biden, Biden or yeah. something. That would have been, like, you know... It, yeah, yeah. Th- that would have been the end of the world. You yeah. know what I mean? And now it's finally starting to... Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, you know what? Uh, this is actually a bad idea. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it feels like there's a bit of a flip going on. Yeah. And uh, you know what? It's interesting. But look, let's, let's get into the good cringe stuff. We're five minutes in. And... Uh, <laughs> Nerd communities devastated by HRT like black neighborhoods and crack in the 80s. Sad to watch. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. Like it is it's bad. Like, you know, it's really bad. Oh, we got one more doom and gloom one that so we do before oh, we can get great. into it. There will be no collapse the way some of these people think of it. It's not going to be like the movie Dawn of the Dead or whatever, where one day suddenly shit hits the fan and prices skyrocket and everyone begins to riot and the SS comes marching down the street to kill everyone. There will be no happening. It's far more insidious than that. Reading the poem The Hollow Men by T.S. Eliot and you'll understand. you just notice that every single simple thing will become a little more expensive. Everyone's homes and apartments will start to get smaller. Your work hours will get longer, but your pay will decrease. You'll see family and friends less and find that in time, you care less about them. Every day, you'll find yourself lowering your standards for everything. Work, food, relationships, etc. Job security will no longer exist as a concept. You'll notice houses and apartments shrinking. People will start hanging on to the clothing longer and longer. Less people will get married, even less will have children. People will engross themselves in technological distractions and fantasy while never truly experiencing the real world. Whatever dream people you used to have about their lives were going what whatever dream people used to have about what their lives were going to be will become for them a distant memory. The only thing left for them will be the reality of their debt and poverty. And every minute of every day they will be told you're stupid, ugly and weak. But together we are free, prosperous and safe. That is the collapse. The reduction of the American man into a feudal serf. Incapable of feeling love or hate. Incapable of seeing the pitfall, the pitiful nature of a situation for what is or recognize his own self worth. This was posted in 2013. Eerily similar. Eerily similar. Too, too, too close to home. Too close. I don't like that one at all. Do you want to do something more like cringing just some? Yeah, let's do this. I feel like. Can anal weaken the sphincter and even cause incontinence? Seriously though, you will listen up with repeated anal battering. This is just the choice you have to make. Personally, I will always choose the carnal pleasures of a tickled prostate over the ability to reliably hold in my still. Life is too short short not to enjoy butt stuff. If that means having to live with your rectum flailing about like a <laughs> wind stuck on a breezy day, then I think that's a worthy sacrifice. So, <clears throat> Gumlude, we watched uh, a woman put little King Kong's finger. Literal King Kong's finger? You need it. If you were there for it. You, uh, I'm glad you experienced is, it with us. All I can say is, um, this, well, last week's Gumlude video, or I can't remember. Was it, yeah, it was last week's Gumlude video. It was um, uploaded late. Yeah. yeah, it was uploaded late. Um, you, like, you can't watch it in public, that video. No, um, or around your parents, or on full volume, wear headphones. Yeah, um, overall. Also, don't. Eight. You know what? I don't know if I can even recommend that. Come with I don't know if it's, I can. Like, you no, know, it was really bad. It was pretty bad. It Me and James bad. had to have towels in our laps in case we vomited. Yeah. Because we were so close. It was bad. It was bad. But like, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. What else do we have here? Oh, there, yeah. There's, here, this one's always fun. So it is. Gynecologist who caused a baby to be decapitated during botch birth is cleared to return to work. Government drops doctor, he says, gender given a birth. Yeah, I don't really have much words for that Did one. you never hear about the decapitated one? Yes, I did. Did you hear about that Yeah, one? that's... He's stuck in the birth canal. Yeah. So he took her in for emergency <sighs> section, and instead of, like... <clears throat> I'd rather not... I, you know, do you want... Yeah, right, okay, you tell us. Instead of, like, opening the birth canal and bringing the baby out safely, they just pulled the baby and fucking decapitated it. <gasps> like, 
Oh, like, God, I don't want to think about that. That's uh, that's the stuff of that nightmares. Is that is ridiculous. That's that's the stuff of nightmares to me. I don't really like it. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's a fun one. Uh, oh, oh, this one's fun as well. So it is. Surrogate claims gay dads told her to terminate pregnancy at 24 weeks on finding out she had aggressive cancer and barred from having baby prematurely or putting it up for adoption because they didn't want their DNA out there. Tixie Baxies, please. Tixie Baxies, please. No. No, but like, no, but like, Tixie Baxies. And also, we don't want that out, you know what I mean? I don't want, you know what I mean? I don't want just because she has cancer doesn't mean the baby has cancer, though. Yeah, but like, you know, you know, like, you know. Mate, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, uh, there's, there's not much words to put all that sort of stuff. Oh, this one, you know what this one reminded me of? This one reminded me of... Do you remember Vice? Do you yeah. remember like Vice articles? Read this. Transaction. Meet the black gender queer ecstasy dealers reshaping the way drugs are sold in South London. Tell me that's not a Vice. That is a Vice. <laughs> that is a Vice headline if I, you've ever seen one. You know what? I actually miss Vice so much. Like Vice. Oh, Vice or Whenever fruits. me and you start the going out, Whenever me and you start first started going out, Vice was pumping out some of the best. best. There like were some of the best best documentaries it was it was up there honestly same with Louis Theroux I don't Louis know Theroux, I know Louis, Louis, Louis just Louis lost his way he did he really and did and I love Louis I still think and I still, still go back and rewatch his old stuff because it's so good I still do enjoy Louis though I think as a is. documentarian he was he still is really good but I just think he, he panders an awful lot more now well he works for the BBC <laughs> exactly. so like you know he knows where his money's made just so like you know he can't really do much about that at that point Are you tired of overreaching and overbearing censorship on important and non-important issues? Well, you're in luck. For just $7.50 a month, you can get access to over 60 hours of completely uncensored and unhinged schizo takes from Megan and James. From us. I mean, look, um, it's 60 hours at the minute. Every week we do a minimum of like three hours. Yep. So, you know. You get a lot of content. There's a lot on there. A lot of content. Ranging from... Or even, yes, they are that spicy. Even the name of the topic must be censored. You can't even, we can't even promote it on YouTube. (laughs) You can stream or download all the videos from Gumroad and cancel your membership at any time. Though new videos every week on average come to two to three hours long so we can really go in depth on any topic and we are not strangled by the YouTube algorithm. That's a big issue I always find. Yeah. If we can want- be open and uncensored and not have to worry about any of that. If you want to talk about a subject, YouTube really promotes, oh, you're going to have to get that done in 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. But on this, we can really take our time and really delve yep. into it. And most weeks we do bonus off-topic videos. And yes, we even have a teaser video you can download for free from nickbeardia.co.uk. In it, we talk about Northern Ireland for four and a half hours. <laughs> I don't even think we're Scottish. Sorry. No, guys. it's to try and help you understand who we are as people, our worldview, and how we can kind of be aliens to most people. If any of that sounds good to you, go ahead, links down below, and let's get back to the video. Dating over 40. Dating over 40. Why is this so hard? I can't be the only person my age that knows what they want. I'm a 48 female, been single around 10 years. I've jo- joined dating sites, etc. The guys I match with say they want one thing, but after talking, it changes. I've been on dates where they show up and it's so awkward. The phone conversation was great, but in person, wasn't. I'm just getting more and more hopeless at this point. I'm 48. I don't want a... Uh, um, yeah. Fuck buddy? Yeah, yeah. Or a friends with benefits. That has never been appealing to me. But it seems like the guys my age just aren't interested in long-term relationships. Not sure why I'm posting. Maybe to vent. Maybe to see if I'm the only one feeling this way. My biggest fear has always been dying alone and it feels like it's becoming a reality unfortunately uh yeah well i'd say it is a reality for you if i'll be honest with yeah, you yeah at 48 uh, uh i no, i still i feel bad for sometimes though i feel like a lot of people make their choices though yeah i feel like you know if it was important to you i was you know i was talking to the, talking about this literally to my auntie yesterday um <clears throat> about my dad yeah i would love for my dad to find someone but I don't think he ever will after my mum. Yeah. Him and my dad and my mum weren't together. Um, well, they weren't. For, well, they, they, they broke up really in like, what, they like broke 20, up 2011? 2011, maybe. maybe. And my dad moved out of the house, but they still worked together. My dad was always here at Christmas. Father's Day, we always spent with him. Mother's Day, he always came here. 
they loved each other but couldn't live with each other. Yeah. Um, but they weren't together. But they both never pursued any pursued other. any other relationship. Well, as far as I know, with my dad, I know my dad went on Match dot com. Oh yeah, that was a disaster. Um, I remember. You, <laughs> what did he say about it again? I can't remember. I can't remember. I know my dad went Match dot com, but n- nothing ever came no. off of it that, that I know anyway. He could have. No, no. Yeah. But I was talking to my auntie about this yesterday. I would love him to find someone because he's like he's sixty four, and I don't. I want him just to have that companionship of someone because he yeah. deserves it. He's a good guy. But I don't think he ever will. And I think he would be scared to tell me and my sister in case he thinks that we think he's, yeah. you know, trying to replace my mum. But I know nobody no, ever could for him. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you know, if he wanted that, he would have done that years ago. Yeah, exactly. But I, I but he, my dad's always been madly in love with my mum. Yeah. Um, And I think, like, he was planning, they never got married either. Um. But he wanted to ask her to marry him again, like on her deathbed, yeah. and he never got around it. He had a ring and everything. He yeah. never got around it. Yeah. Um. But I, and I think the longer he waits, the more chance he's gonna be alone. He's sixty four. He's a good looking man. He's still healthy. Yeah. Like he, he's really healthy, and I think he should, but I don't think he will. And that breaks my heart for my dad. Yeah. But I think in his mind, he's like, nobody will ever replace I th- I think her. it could be as well. Like, it's emotionally as well. Like, you know, he's not quite ready. I know. But I think he should. He should. I do think he should, but I do think he would be scared. And as my auntie said, she says it's not like we would shame her. No. Because no. we wouldn't. No, far from I think we'd all be shocked and surprised if he did. Yeah. But, like, we'd welcome her with open arms. I would, anyway, yeah. for my dad, for the sake of my yeah, dad. Yeah, want him to be happy. I want though. him to be happy, but I just I just don't think he will. Mm, it's hard to say. Um, I don't know. It's, a, it's something that I would rather not think about very much. But, again, like, you know, look, again, like, another example is, so he lives with his dad. Yeah. And his, so your granny, she died. My nanny Annie died in 2011. Yeah. And what age was she? She, same age as my granda. My granda's 88 now. Yeah. So what's and that? And he, 78. And your granddad, like, you never had... Oh, had, I don't like, know. Your dad's dad's never really had any interest in... Pursuing. Oh, no, but, like, he was in his 70s, though. Ah, I suppose that's different. Whenever my nanny Annie died, so, like, that's different. I know, but your dad's not far off his 70s. But my grand was in, like, his late 70s. Oh, yeah, I suppose that's true. You know, mid yeah. to late 70s, so, like... Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever came across anything like that or thought about it? I'm, one of my friends... He, I think he's like, you know, like, you know, because he turned 30 there not that long ago, and he's very worried about it all. He's not. I asked him. Conky. Oh, him, I thought you meant a jiggy. Oh, no, no, Jacob. J- so for him. Jacob couldn't give a shit. Yeah, uh, he's more. Like, the problem he's had is. He's so business minded, he couldn't give a shit. He's always had that problem of. He'd, he's never had a quality of his ship, so he. It's he doesn't been, know what he's what he is missing like, out he, on. He likes the idea of like a family lifestyle, but at the same time, I don't think I don't think he'll ever have kids. He'll always be that fun uncle. Yeah, I don't see him ever having kids. I just don't see him ever settling down. But not because he's a wild boy and he's like shagging all about him. Because he's he's not really like that. He, uh, but well, he's more. He just. He's so business minded. Yeah, well, at the minute he just doesn't have time for yeah. any of that sort of thing. But again, like as he, he said, he's never really went out with someone that he thinks is like, worth it. Has improved the quality of his life. His life enough for him to think this is, relationship is worth building upon. Yeah, yeah. Does that make any sense? Like, yeah. you know, I feel like a lot of people get in relationships and it's just like, why are you even with them? Like, yeah. you're so miserable. Yeah, yeah. Why are you ha- like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, that's a that's a meander down. But let's just keep going, will we? Oh. Oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> my wife is refusing to let me breastfeed our newborn it's making me dysphoric and seems transphobic that seems so transphobic guys i i cannot believe if you, you put our baby anywhere near your tit <laughs> i'd make you swallow your balls I mean, that is the most like <laughs> I've been on E for two years and transitioned after six years with my wife. She accepts me and sees me as a woman. However, she gets very uncomfortable and cagey when I suggest sharing breastfeeding. (sighs) I haven't had top surgery yet, but I read about inducing milk and how we can produce it. I feel like, as a woman, I have the right to breastfeed our newborn, and excluding me from it is implying I'm not a real woman or mother. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, Uh, What should I say or do to make her see sense? 
that is gonna be right. So. You're not a woman, bro. No. You're not a woman, my guy. You, know you what? can't like <laughs> it's that's nonce behavior to me. Yeah, it is pure nonce behavior. I don't appreciate that one bit. Um, what I would say is. Think of the amount of chemicals that need to be pumped into you to for a man to be able to produce. It's actually not that much. I, I think it's it still gives me the absolute heebie jeebies. If your nipples are simulated enough, you just can produce breast milk on your own. I still think there has to be a lot of chemicals to pump into you to make it work. I don't think you think I think you can do it with no chemicals. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to talk you know what, this is a subject I don't want to talk about. But I think it is possible, but it's <laughs> fucking creepy, my guy. Right, is anyone watching any any fellows like there are just fucking best milk? It is actually a thing that man can. Right, right no, I'm i I'm giggling it. Man could just see. No, it's gonna come up trans shit, James. Well, typically men don't produce enough of the hormone who create to lactate. Yeah, so you need that hormone so you do. Yeah, yes, you know men what? have milk ducts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it says typically, that doesn't say no, it says typically men don't produce enough hormone. But it says yes, men have milk ducts. So you can, in theory, you can produce milk, breast milk. See, I need I need to get like, a video of some fella. Oh my God, what was that? Okay. Canyon Pastor has a rare disease that makes it... Produce <laughs> milk? No, no. You, that... you, in theory, you can produce breast milk. In theory, in but... theory, in th- no, th- look, no, it that's a, that's can't be a thing. Megan, that's a fucking abomination of the highest order. Like, you know what I <laughs> think's fucking creepy as sin? Yeah. You know, like the breast milk bottles that are shaped like an actual boob, and no. the men wear them. Oh yeah, I don't. You know, like to them. give like the women a break, to yeah. give the mums a break, so they take like whatever breast milk they've pumped, put it into it, and then like breastfeed them through this fake tit. Yeah, that's can... It's like just use a bottle. Just yeah. use a fucking bottle bro yeah, that, that or you know in fact give me him yeah. give me the baby and i'll just breastfeed him myself <laughs> please just give me a bottle instead of that absolute contraption you know what's that what's that one what's that what was that tweet no i don't even want to get that tweet up that was that horrible one i saw let me like you know what let me let me give me one second let me see if i can find no you know what i can't find it and i don't even want to put it up if i be honest with you no it's it's brutal she's not gonna go hoking no it's not it's it's one of the it's it's just not worth it guys i'm sorry um let's see do we have another one? Oh, oh, here we go here we go Fund- fundraising for my son's transition that's the face that I expect. That's exactly. Why do they? I, I I'm of the. I'm at the point where I believe political ideologies and political views are like. I think there's a genetic trait because there is no way that they can always look the same. They do. There is high as a possible that so many people share, and it's not just like style and fashion and stuff. No, it's like face shape, voice, mannerisms. No, everything. mannerisms it- can be. Related mannerisms can definitely, I think, can be adopted. Yeah. But you can't adopt the shape of your face, the shape of your nose, the. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah, you can maybe adopt like a different hairstyle or the way you behave. I don't know. I, what do you guys think? Do you think there's a genetic play here? But again, I do believe that genuinely. Like, so, the comment somebody said, it's always the one you least expect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always. You know what? I've, I've said this before, but like, what is it? Well, like, if someone, 90% of the time, if someone looks like an absolute pedophile, they are. But 80% of the time, they're, they're going to be. They're, they're going they're to be. They're not like. Like, if you look like one, you probably are. And it's. You know, that's sad to say, but if you're rocking about with a pedophile, stash and you just look a bit creepy oh my god please don't even you know my friend like so my friend Patrick I know like I for I first I seen him on his birthday and I walked in he's standing in the kitchen I was like what the fuck are you doing with the pedo stash you know what the fuck and he went what they're not something and I'm like you look like a nuts. No, you know what the funniest thing is about it as well? He's he got, suits he, it. No, he, yeah, he, he does suit it, but he got the moustache because he's a big fan of Dr. Disc's stash. Yes, he did! <laughs> you know what? See, at the start, we're, the whole thing with Dr. Disc's back, I really wanted to hold out. I was like, like I don't want to jump the gun. I feel like a lot of people always jump the gun on these sort of matters. I don't want to, like, you know, that's a... It's, why was he not like why did he get, like if something did happen why did he get let off with yeah, it and all that yeah. sort of stuff I was kind of holding back and being like I don't want to I'll wait I'll wait I'll, I'll, wait, wait. I'll wait and it's just it's just not looking like it's, it's not it's, it's not, not getting, looking good it's, guys. Not, looking, it's not looking it's good it's not getting any better guys like it just hasn't got the funniest one is fucking doctor touch your kid <laughs> <laughs> do you see the best one is though he was in a, they added him in a DLC of like some predator game no he didn't <laughs> yeah he did no I'm not sure here uh, Doctor Disrespect. <laughs> uh, predator 
game skin is it? Yeah, uh, skin. Predator. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 2001 Predator Hunting Grounds. <laughs> Don't disrespect you. I mean, is it still for sale, do you reckon? No, it's bound. It's bound. You've been taken down by now. I wish I, wish I could have picked it up. No, that's funny. Maybe that's that's funny. funny. You can't say that's not funny. That's funny. Like, that's one of the best ones I've came across. But yeah, honestly, it doesn't look good. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to. If, again, like, you know, for all we know, there might be more coming out about it. But yeah. I don't know. It just doesn't look good. My it guess. doesn't. It doesn't look good. It's kind of like what, what do you call that guy? Do you remember that fella that was the wee the wee dweeby looking fella hmm. that was uh, he was dressed up as Sailor Moon and he like was fo- photos of him knocking about with like a fucking thing up his bum and all <laughs> uh, and he has like a wife and all so he did Greg um, he might have been called Greg actually oh no I was thinking about Onion Boy <laughs> who's Onion Boy Onision Oh, Onision. No, it's not oh, it been Onision. Fuck, I haven't heard that name in a while. Haven't heard Onision in a while. Oh, mate. I, What's yeah. he doing with himself? Is he in prison? Did he, he get caught for being an answer? Yeah, let me see. How do you spell Onision? Onision, yeah. Onision. Oh, let's see. What's he up to? These what days? is he up to now? See, girls that weren't really into Onision, they always give me the heebie jeebies. I know. Like, you, just, you know he was really into Onision? You know who, he was go- who I'm going to say? Yeah, I know. There was a girl I kind of went out with. So the, the first Fanny James ever touched. <laughs> yeah, she was really into Onision. And, I, and, Anision, and she screamed. Onision fan. Onision fan. Nah, well, okay, you know what? Who's, who's the most cringe person that you can admit that you used to be a big fan of? For me, it would probably be the Amazing Atheist. One that I look back on, I'm like, you know what? I, but you know what? The Dorking Peasants podcast in 2014. Well, mine is still cringe, and I still absolutely fucking love him. Who? Shane Dawson. Yeah, I suppose. I've been a fan of Shane Dawson since literally the birth of you, since 2008. Yeah. And I've never stopped. Yeah, you're a big fan like of Shane. Like, massive Shane fan. Well, massive Shane fan. Well, who do you think, like, if you could go for someone who has just fallen off the wagon completely and off me? <laughs> Jenna Marbles, bring her back! <laughs> well, no, because Jenna Marbles, that was just sad. We'll have I know. her. Imagine you know. the um, internet counselling the most wholesome person. I know, she was great, but uh, <laughs> let me think. Who's, like, someone... I, I, I loved Maisie Nathan. Oh, I know. Who? Tyler Oakley. Oh, yeah, you did have a... You, you did go through a phase of him, so you did for a yeah. while. What, it was, like, this wee gay twink boy yeah nice what has he turned into now have you seen him oh on time daddy's buff oh so is it daddy buff uh um 2024 yeah that's kind of like him yeah that's him he buff he's not really twink anymore like no but you have to evolve once you get past like a certain age with twink i mean like there's nothing sadder than like you know the aging twink yeah like the aging but he's like he hasn't he's like not done like a bad age twink he's mm. like evolved oh I'll give him that uh, I, I don't know what he's like. I know I never really liked him I, I never I was like a them. fan of him like you know so I don't know what he is up to or what he does but <gasps> I, that's another one who Gabby Hanna oh she's insane yeah she, like she she, she clinically she was, fucking manic no she she's the perfect example of why so many people are not cut out to do like, YouTube YouTube or yeah. anything I, you know what I'm, I'm really happy that like you know we never went on camera really. like I would go on camera for like, the old live stream yeah I don't really mind that I but stay in the shadows yeah there. like the chances you're never gonna see Megan no on camera ever ever like ever 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 like even whenever like even whenever I was talking to Garbro for like a long time, you refused to I refused on- to go on camera. Like, and even then, I still very rarely go on camera, even if you're talking to Garbro. Yeah, like, see if I... Like, there's so many times... Well, that's because 90% of the time, I look like a fucking tramp. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm either recording or cleaning my house, and I'm just filthy. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, look, let's, let's keep going. And I'm a mother, so like, yeah, I'm covered you're... in food and shit and yeah, water. Well, <laughs> like, well, you're allowed to get away with it, you know what I mean? With your clocks and your... Oh, my God, look at this one. My clocks and my mum bun. <laughs> yeah, right, so this one here. I just cancelled my Uber driver. I don't have time to deal with this today. today. Andrew pronouns he, him, his. Uh, Uber pro platinum. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Andrew. <laughs> Why does he look like a female to male? He does. <laughs> per, he does. Per, oh, Andrew. Oh, because okay, that's shocking. I feel bad for the wee okay, fella. Andrew. Oh, you know what? I'm sure you were a lovely twin back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know where else to go with this video, if I'll be honest with you. Oh, nah, cars. See the whole stuff with like. Cause I get a lot of like you know the whole fuck cars thing. Like don't get me wrong, par- parking is a ball league, so it is. And like, would it be handier just to be able to walk places? A lot of the time, yeah. But like, let's be serious. America just don't have the culture. Have, like, Which I don't understand. I think America could be so well connected if they put trains in. I think it would help a lot of people. It could. 
but I stand with big tobacco. <laughs> big like, oil. You know, yeah. yeah, big oil, you know um, what I mean? But um, I, honestly, I think they're mad not putting in train systems like proper and people are like oh there is trains in America no but you you know what I mean no okay if you've ever been to Europe all right, you know what it or is. Or the UK in you, general, you'll see the train system. American American understanding of trains is New York subway system. New York, yeah, exactly. And I don't blame Americans for being like I. Absolutely I don't want that. not. Exactly. It was the most disgusting video I ever saw the other day, and it was the big. man sleeping with a rat coming up and eating out of his mouth. No, know? I didn't see that one. He's sleeping on the train, and a rat like crawled up him and started like licking the inside of his mouth. He was sleeping with his mouth open. There was oh, there was one I saw. There was one I. No, it wasn't. It was London, so it was. It wasn't mm-hmm. New York, but like mm-hmm. you know, they may as well be the same at this point. <laughs> Like, let's be serious. It's like, where would you rather not live? Would you rather live in New York or London? Pfft, ah, fuck, they're both bad. I'd that, rather live in a coffin. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, but no, there was one I saw, and it was I think it was bed bugs on like a, on like a, a oh seat. Oh my God, stop it, like stop it. And they were and jumping in. Look, that's good. It was, Me, it was, cheese. Uh, it was absolutely disgusting, so it was, to say the least. So yeah, I don't blame Americans for not wanting it because... I'm terrified of bed bugs. Yeah, that, see, all that sort of stuff. And you know where... The, it, comes from America yeah it does um, it's you bringing it over so a lot of like you know so I used to work in a hotel and, and the cockroaches as well yeah the cockro- you bringing it over check your fucking luggage yeah that's that's what the bit that wash your sheets so I worked in a hotel and- how often by the way how often do you use wash your sheets because apparently Americans only wash them like once every two months nah you gotta be doing it at least once a week once a week a day a week and a half it has to be it just feels better depending on how sweaty you are and America's hot uh, you've got AC. So like, I don't, I don't care. Wash your damn sheets. Me, <laughs> what's that one? Oh, can we do that for come this week? What? Do the extreme cheap skates? Have we done that? No. And there's that guy, and yeah, he's, never, a... he's never, he's wa- never what, he never washes his clothes. Instead, what he does is he puts them in the deep freeze. Yeah, we're gonna do something like that. Do you want to do something yeah. like that? I, I want to do something fun. I don't want to. I feel like this this whole video has been very like black pillin, and I do the whole thing with Trump. Everything is so political, and I think that's. I think that's what everyone wants to kind of talk about. Yeah, but but I kind of. I kind of want to just do something fun for Gumwood this week, so I think we might just do like extreme cheap skates or something because I think they're funny as anything. Yeah. Um, well, I flash up the thumbnail for last week. Just real week. quick. One, two, three. There you go. That's all you get. <laughs> yeah. Um, as I said, well, no, we said that at the start of the video. I can't really recommend anyone to watch it. <laughs> but if you, <laughs> you insist, I would. Uh, 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 you know, like. You know, I wouldn't want to be like the odd one out or anything you yeah. know yeah like all I'm saying is don't eat don't watch it on loud and don't watch it next to your f- fucking granny or granny whatever. or your ma yeah um, or your wife to be fair or, like, <laughs> unless your wife's into that yeah or really anyone I, yeah. I'd be all and kids or, don't watch around kids yeah um, it's, it's, there's nothing really else to add on this I um, hope you guys enjoyed this one also what I will say is everyone that I know Everyone that has signed up for the gun load, I've yet to meet someone who was disappointed with it. Yeah. And they've all, like, honestly, the I'm actually glad. Like, it's the best thing we ever did. Also, do you want to read out the email that you got? One one. From your man. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, Please sure. I'll get, yeah, sure, I'll get it up. I sent it to thingy. You're going to so, take out his email address? Yeah, no, I'll take it. No, but I, 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 it was me that asked the question. I asked. Yes, people, but you can take out his email address. Yeah, his email yeah. address. So I asked or whatever it on... Is. Uh, I asked on Gummer, was it? Or Gum, was it on here? Yeah, no, I asked on on with Garbo because I had an idea <coughs> for creating an N word pass business. So yeah. I had. So this uh, person messaged our email James and said, "Dear James, Megan, and any whom it may concern, I was watching a recently uploaded Nick Beardy video and heard James rambling about an N word pass gag gift slash service or product. He said he needed a black person to act as a sort of face for the company, and I may be able to fulfil that role." Please let me know if you have any questions or wish to somewhat verify my racial <laughs> identity. Warm regards, Jordan. P.S. I'm also bisexual, so if there are any future plans to expand the F slur pass, <laughs> I can act as a stand in until you find a more gay contractor. <laughs> more g- a gayer. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's say. the best email. Yeah, quite. Honestly, Jordan. <laughs> like, yeah, I love that one. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> 
But, That's um, so funny. <clears throat> no, so what I will say is, I will say, um, I am interested in the idea. I've got one website that's up and running at the minute, doing amazingly well. Last 30 days, it's got in 15,000 US dollars. Now, that's not profit, by the way, but that's just in total. Um, amazing, amazingly well. Um, the problem that I have at the minute is I need to increase my credit score, essentially, to reach the Amex Gold, because once you get Amex Gold, you pretty much get unlimited credit. Um, <clears throat> so I'm kind of bottlenecked at yeah, the, the moment. Because um, I don't want to... It's one of those ones. I'm just bottlenecked at the minute, but I've got that website up and going. I've got another one that's a, going to be ready soon. very soon, which I'm going to be getting up and running. And then after that, I'm going to do the N Word Pass business. And I might be semi public with the N Word Pass business. Well, I'm already kind of being public about it. But if you ever, like, all I'm saying is, if you guys are not going to But how funny would it be seeing an advert for a black guy being like, <laughs> but like, I just want to give my brother an arms this pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Like, you know, I, th- I think. This he- is for all you. You white crackers out there. <laughs> yeah. You, want, you well, want to be able to say the N word freely and passionately. <laughs> you know what? I, I, think, I think it'd be so I, fun. Like, I think it'll be the best thing for solutions in a very long time. <laughs> so, yeah. Because I and feel also, like, if you want to say the F word. <laughs> well, I, I feel like we've passed, like, you know, we've we've had a point it, definitely in the West where, like, see if you came to me with, like, Lisa's Jimmer in, like, 2005, 6, 7. Yeah. I would have thought, mate, that's, that's really cringe. Please stop. Please stop. That's... You're, you're you're getting to me here like you know that's just you know what I mean I feel yeah. like we were at a different point but now funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life I, I know <laughs> funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life and because they've turned into such a no 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 if that makes any sense and it, like, because they've turned into such a no no it's now turned into a Indian meme yeah it has they've, meme, they've memefied like, James what's my Instagram reels like oh I mean your Instagram reels are funny like they're, they're hilarious they're, they're brutal like they're, they're brutal they're rough they are they're gully really rough but like I feel like we might do that for like a gum rope video. Just go down my Instagram reels, <laughs> just because it's what. I don't know how they. I don't know how. They, how I don't know what, like, like I don't know. I don't know. They Instagram. targeted their fucking audience. I Let me I tell you. That. I have no idea. Instagram could have been that spicy because like. Like, I'm not used to being deleted. I know. I'm used to getting 30 day bans so much that yeah. I'm like, mm, you can't do that. Yeah. But Twitter at the minute, Twitter is just pulled out yeah, these days. Um, but but yeah. anyway, look. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if you yourself, like, tell me right now. I'm telling you right now. See that N word pass? I reckon that could be better than I'm. I'm putting in the same category as like you know what do you call that one where you buy like knighthoods and stuff? Oh, I uh, yeah, like the. Uh, uh, I- you know what I'm on, or like you the buy dates stars. thing, or not? Yeah, the, yeah, I know what you mean. Or you like you buy stars or that type of thing. I, yeah, it's it's you know what I mean. It's a gag it's gift. It's a gag, but yeah. you could easily charge like I don't know, like nineteen ninety nine, like twenty twenty dollars for the N word pass. For an N word pass. Yeah, but let us know down below. Would you buy an N word pass? And if there's any other black people watching. Email us. We might need you for an advert. <laughs> yeah, 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 like you know, I got to wait. Like you know what I mean. Like, but again, this I think I think at the moment I need to get my credit in check. I need to get it. I need to get the Amex Gold. Um, I think I'll have that by maybe September. September, October, October. Maybe, yeah, everything's going to plan. Hopefully, I'll have everything in place, and therefore, you know, we're, we're... right enough for Right. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Bye.